there. Hey, Tom Doc is with us. You know, I always say, keep calm and contact Tom. Uh, Noah's Animal Hospital, uh, Director of Communications. Correct. Pet Pals TV, uh, yep. investigative reporter. And we're talking about, uh, <laughs> with Stewie here, I always, when I see it, and I'm a news junkie, I turn on, I see there's a dam that broke, there's a somebody house caught on fire, and the first thing I think about, what, what about the animals? What How about do we, pets? we prepare? Yeah. Whoops, there he goes. Well, you're in luck because June is National Pet Preparedness Month. Okay. And so it's a reminder to us, we need to be prepared. But it's really interesting because Pet Smart Charities just did a study, and I don't think it's surprising to us, but if somebody was told to evacuate and they couldn't take their pets, 76% yeah. said, nope, not going to do it. I'm going to stay with my pet and ride this out. That would okay? be me. That would so, be me. Yeah, not surprising. So here's just a few tips of what we can do. Okay, just real quick. Do? First thing I'm going to tell people, get your cell phone after Lifestyle Live is over, okay, and get a selfie with your pet right? Go get a selfie. Do that every June. Now you've got memories, but you also have a record that, yes, this is my pet that could help with proof of ownership. Okay. Okay. All right. Took Next, yeah. go to your pet's microchip database website. So whether it's Home Again or Avid or AKC, go to the website. Make sure everything is up to date mm -hmm. on there as far as your phone number, mm -hmm. your, your address. We just posted a story on my feed about a, a, eleven a cat. year old eleven cat. Cat. A cat was gone for eleven years and they found it because of the microchip. Because of the microchip, Unbelievable. right. Unbelievable. So we want to do that. And then the third thing is probably a little more complex, right? The third thing is setting up a to go bag, a bug out kit, right? And you can see some of the things I have here. You know, we've got the medical records. Mm -hmm. Knowing that your pet is up to date on vaccinations right. is gonna be important if you find a pet friendly shelter. Have some food, have some water. FEMA tells us tells people you should be prepared to be on your own for three days in the case of a disaster. Do you put this in your car? You, you can put it in your car in a, in a basement somewhere out of the way where you can grab you can it grab really it quick. quickly. Okay. But have some food, have some water, the pet's medications, mm -hmm. treats, bowls. Don't forget leashes <laughs> oh, and yeah. cages and things like that because these are things that you want to be a responsible pet owner. Yes. And if you go to a hotel, you don't want the dog running loose. And plus, he's not going to know what's going on. He's stressed out. Yeah. He's in an unfamiliar situation. Yeah. Situation. Speaking of stressed out, yeah, Fourth of July. <laughs> Fourth of July. Ah, oh, <laughs> gee, I tell you, uh, and it's not just the, the designated fireworks. It's when they do it, you know, at two in the morning on August the fifth in your driveway. That's not patriotic. I'm sorry, and it really upsets him. Uh, most animals. Mm -hmm and people with post-traumatic stress disorder. What do you advise? Well, I think the first thing that we need to do is if your pet has noise phobias, whether it's thunderstorms, whether it's fireworks, get the medication from your veterinarian. And do it now. And do it now, please, please, please. Yep. July 4th yep. is on a Tuesday. A lot of veterinarians are going to close on July 1st and not open until July 5th. Ooh, okay. and more animals go missing and run away. On, on July the, 5th. On, are found on July the 5th, yep. That's right. Because of the fireworks, darn it. It. Isn't it in, in Italy where they have fireworks that are quiet? They do. I, silent fireworks. Isn't yeah. that a great idea? Yeah. Let's, let's run for office and, okay. and make that happen. <laughs> hey, Stewie, get up. Get up, get up, Stewie. Get up, get up. Get up. Oh, he's tired now. Yep. He goes, I've had my, my on-air time. Uh, okay, so call your vet. Make sure you get your medications. And uh, I know he'll be under the bed during the 4th yeah. of July. But it's just that. Oh, and warn your neighbors, too. If you're going to have some fireworks, let be them know. Be a good neighbor. Be a good neighbor. So it's right. going to be happening tonight between 6 and 7. So just want to let you know. Yeah. And don't set them off just randomly. That's not patriotic. That's what she said. All right. Thank you. My pleasure. Keep calm. Contact, Contact Tom. Tom. <laughs> you can go to the Pet Pals TV <laughs> website and you can see him at any time. He's yeah. always there. All right, let's go over to the kitchen and find out some more foodie things.